Let's see here. Let's make art matter. Let's make art matter. Oh, I wonder how well the upload speed's gonna be. Because currently YouTube says waiting for Let's Make Art. Oh, oh. oh we're live. Excellent. Yep, here we go. Here we okay. go. Hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, there's several seconds delay. I am not used to that. Hello, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> Lori says, hello. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Tara says, hi, Sarah. Hello, Tara. Do you want to know something cool? Yes. I had a friend growing up. Her name was Kara, and we had the same birthday. No. Sarah, Kara, same birthday. Kind of cool. That's why you were best friends. <sighs> yes, obviously. <laughs> the important things. Does your name rhyme? Do you have the same birthday? That's really all you need for a good friend. That's how I search for a best friend. <laughs> what rhymes with Keenan? Meenan? Nothing. Meenan? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, Alice, Jacqueline, Christine, Marcy Danison. Clark. Hello, Marcy. Oh, Danison's here. Hi, Danison. Uh, Deborah, Bonnie. Lucy, Amy. Amy. Val. Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys so much for being here. We're gonna start painting in just a minute. Give people time to join us. My computer might die. Great. So I'm going to get on my phone. Okay. I won't be able to comment. Okay. But I will be able to talk. Oh, Tara says, speaking of birthdays, happy birthday to my one-year-old. Oh. Arlo is one now. Can you guys believe it? Do you remember the tutorials where I filmed and he was just a tiny little baby <laughs> strapped to me? Guy. He's one now. He just had his first birthday. He's so old. He's so old. He's so wonderful. Thank you, guys. Leslie says, hi from Texas. <laughs> Marcy said, I thought maybe they were keeping Keenan locked up in a basement. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny you should say that. We film in a basement. Funny you should say that because it's true. <laughs> we just let him out. <laughs> he was trying to get paid. Because it's nice outside. And I was like, Keenan, Stop into the basement. Stop asking ridiculous questions. <laughs> okay. Let's get started. So thank you guys so much for being here. I'm Sarah Cray with Let's Make Art and we have Keenan who's working our cameras. Hello, thank you for joining. And what we are doing today is we are making our Let's Make Art Matter postcard for our February um, subscription box. And our group that we're sending it to this time is actually called Angels in Motion. And Angels in Motion is a nonprofit organization that works in the Philadelphia area to create these blessings bags for um, people who are suffering from the disease of drug addiction. So what we are going to do is that one of the volunteers in this organization reached out to us and uh, we are going to paint a postcard that we will then send to her and they will then put these encouragement cards or Let's Make Art Matter cards into the blessing bags and inside those blessings, blessings bags there's also snacks and brochures of where people can find support and help wow so i thought this was a great way that the let's make art matter community can come together and show some love yes. to some people that's so nice okay so this is what we are painting today and it's just this pretty little card that says you are loved Ooh. so just about encouragement just showing people that we're caring about them we think about them even if we don't know them and I feel like there's such a power when we can come together as a community and recognize that we are all experiencing this life together let's show encouragement for each other because man life is hard sometimes and when you know that you have someone that's thinking about you sometimes it makes things a little bit easier to to get through some stuff that you're going through so if you guys have done the coral tutorial that was from our February subscription box, the idea is similar. So I wanted to kind of combine our love tutorial with leaves and then the layering process that we did with the coral subscription. I mean, coral project. So cool. What I'm using for this project is a round six and a round two are go to brushes. I also have a pencil and a pen just to do my little lettering in the middle 
and I have my paint colors from the month of February here. Now you can see my palette has been used. I'm just using my leftover palette. You guys can use whatever colors you have. Also, you guys can paint whatever it is that you like on these cards. This is just an idea for you guys to follow along with me, but if you feel like you wanna paint something else, go for it. This is your card. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm actually gonna start first with our lettering and then we're going to do three layers along the outside. So there'll be about four steps. So usually what I do is I'll paint the outside and then I'll add the lettering at the end. But to be honest, lettering is not my strongest skill. It's still something that I'm improving. Um, so sometimes what's frustrating is you do this entire painting and it's beautiful and then you put lettering in it and then it's like, you don't like the lettering and then you get frustrated about this postcard. So first, I just wanna say, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's all about the effort and the intention. Second of all, a great way to help with that, let's, let's do our lettering first. Nice. So we get that out of the way, we feel good about it, and then we can move on to painting. That's smart, much less intimidating once you get the lettering out of the way. I think so too. I agree. So um, let's jump into it. So I'm gonna take my pencil just to lightly sketch out what I wanna do first. I'll press hard so you guys can see it on the camera, and then we'll get to painting. Sweet. So I decided to just say, you are loved. That's, that's what I'm going to put there. Um, so I'm gonna start in the middle, and Keenan, are we on close up? Can we do a close up on the lettering we by can. chance? There you are. Okay. And so I'm just gonna kinda play with cursive, and then doing, um, what is non-cursive called? Print. <laughs> Print, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna start with you. And again, I'm not, I'm not focusing too much on it being perfect. The Y, I thought I could do a little cooler swoop. Oh, that's better. Okay. Oh, that's nice. And then I'm gonna do loved right in here. Long, skinny. Again, we're not about perfection here, my friends. Okay, okay, I'm gonna make my D a little bit smaller. Now, for any of you guys that are new to us, we have a lot of lettering tutorials on our YouTube channel. So if lettering is something you wanna get more familiar with or you wanna learn how to lay out something or different ways to write things, um, Nicole is one of our lettering instructors or our lettering instructor and she has a lot of great tutorials on there for you guys to, to look at. Also, Jessie does lettering in yep. her art journaling. Mm -hmm. So that's a resource for you guys if you don't feel comfortable. I was also gonna say we still have a Facebook page with oh. a lot of resources too. Yeah, we have a Facebook group, uh, Let's Make Art Lettering. That's a supportive community if you guys wanna learn lettering. Yeah. Okay, so I got my lettering. I feel good about that. I think it looks great. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna make the, I'll draw in the thicker edge on the love. So just on the left side, I'm adding another layer, like so. There we go. Nice. Oh, is that too, let me make it darker, you guys. I said I would do it dark and then I didn't. Sorry about that. So, can you see that better? Yeah, that looks great. Great. All right, now let's get into painting. So I'm not gonna put in my pen yet. I'm gonna paint first and then I'll do it, go over it with my little Sharpie here. So I'm going to mix together dandelion yellow and deep blue. I have some already on my palette dried. The wonderful thing about watercolors um, liquid, well, just watercolors in general, is they reconstitute. So you can leave dried paint on your palette and just come back to it, bring it back up, no big deal. Now I'm gonna go for a really light value here because I want this to be um, kind of farther away and kind of big. So if you remember back to our coral tutorial, that first layer of coral, we did a really light value. So I'm adding water to my mixture I'm gonna have a little bit more blue than yellow, so it kind of almost has like a turquoisey color. Which is really pretty. Turquoise was at one point my favorite color. Ooh, it's a good color. It's a good color. Okay. 
And then I'm just gonna start on the four edges putting in larger leaves. I always like to start with doing my top leaf first and then doing my stem and then leaves off of it just because I can control a little bit better how far out the leaves go. So here's my color. I'm gonna have this top leaf kind of go here. If you wanted to overlap your lettering a little bit, you are more than welcome to do so um, because we will be putting in the pen over on top. It won't be a problem. Oh, Mar uh, Keenan, Marcy wants to know why you don't love turquoise anymore. Well, because I fell in the love, fell in the love with the color, <laughs> fell in love with the, co the color uh, sunset orange. Mm, sunset orange is so yeah. good. I mean, I still love turquoise. Jones Gray is like blue and orange are complementary colors, so you like complementary colors. Dang. What if I coordinated with those colors primarily with my clothing? That would be really cool. That'd be sweet. Okay, so I did one corner, and I'm just gonna keep on going. So when you do your leaf, I like to start out drawing it. So I'm just kind of outlining it like so, and then I just fill it in. Oh, my little brush went a little bit wild there. That's fine, I'll just make my leaf bigger. Happens all the time, mm -hmm. no big deal. Like so. And then I'm gonna do my stem, and to do thin lines, you want to do horizontal, or I'm sorry, a vertical hold, straight up and down. That way you'll get that tip of this round brush, like so. And then draw the leaves off of it. I try and always make sure to have my leaves come to a point. I like narrow, fat, narrow on my leaves. But there are so many different types of leaves out there that really, any shape you want to do, you'll be successful. Yeah. And insects like to eat leaves so they can sh change the shape. Oh yeah, like if you have like a little... A bite mark? Bite mark. How funny would that be? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cute actually. This one I had a little bit more blue mixture painting this leaf. I'm okay with that. I'm a huge fan of hue variation. That means color variation um, within a painting. So if sometimes my mixture is a little bit more blue or more green, I just go with it. Okay, and then this one, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over my letters on this one here. Oh, wow. I'm gonna go over that D. A little bit. I have also seen paintings that I actually really like where like the leaves do go over the letters. So it's like the letters is underneath these layers of foliage that's and leaves. Cool. It's really beautiful. Um, so if that's something that you want to do instead of putting it on top, that is an option. Ooh, what if you did like a vine that went through the whole word in different spots? Ooh, that would be really cool. You just have to make sure watercolor is transparent. So if you do that, you would want to like mask out the area with masking fluid or like lightly sketch. Mm. So it won't, cause like that pencil line is clearly seen through my leaf. Right. So if I wanted it to seem like the leaf is over it, I would need to like somehow get rid of that pencil line. Got it. See what I'm saying? I get you, I got you. I'm just looking to see if there's any questions along the way. Uh, Sylvia also loves turquoise and sunset orange as her favorite colors. Those are excellent colors. They're great. She seems, I agree with her. You guys are best friends. Yes, we are. We go way back. Your name's right. Back. <laughs> <laughs> Our names right. You have the same birthday. You like the same color. <laughs> Friendship accomplished. Check. There's a question from Rachel. Okay. She said, questions for both of you. Great. What is your favorite thing to paint or watch being painted? Oh. Keenan, you answer. Okay. My favorite thing to paint are washes because they're so, they, they make me, like literally, not even an object, just a wash over the whole page of paper because it's so relaxing. Mm, it's yeah. simple 
and it's a repetitive motion, and it's just, ugh, just so comfortable. But my favorite thing to watch come together are things like leaves where I think it's actually the technique rather than the subject because when you do mm. wet on wet, mm-hmm. game over. <laughs> Forget, about it. Forget about <laughs> it. Forget about it. I will answer that question. Let me just move on to the next step, and then I'll do my answer. Who, okay. And who asked that question? That was from Rachel. Rachel, great questions. Okay, while we're doing, before I answer that, we're gonna move on to our second layer of leaves. So what I'm doing is I'm mixing a darker value, um, yellow and blue together. And this one I'm trying to go more for just a green instead of like a tur- turquoisey green. And I'm not adding water to this mixture because I want it to be a darker value. And then this is going to be a medium sized leaf. So not as big as these ones that I put in here, probably about half the size, but I'm going to do the same thing, which is do the top leaf first. I switched to my two since I'm doing a smaller leaf. And using my two, I'm going to do my top leaf first. And then I'm going to draw my stem like so, and then do my other leaves around it. There we go. Okay, my favorite thing to paint, I'm going to be honest, Mm -hmm. that's difficult for me to answer because it depends on my mood. Uh. So sometimes, like lately for my, like just for fun painting, like my personal work, I love painting landscapes. Mm Um, something that I've always been a huge fan of in general is florals. Um, I also love animals sometimes, like birds are really fun to paint, and dogs because of their different fur textures. I was going to ask why they're fun. Um, is it fun because it's challenging, or is it fun because of how it comes together? It's fun because of how it comes together. I really enjoy... Um, I really enjoy when I nail a fur texture. When you can, like, just a little shadow there and then you're like, that looks like curly long hair on that dog. I totally nailed that, you know? I am the painter of dogs. (laughs) So I love doing that. And I think that everybody has the right to, like, change their minds as they go, right? Where it's like, sometimes I'm in the mood for this. Sometimes I'm in the mood for this. Sometimes I like this. Um, I will say that in an older tutorial, I was not comfortable. I said that like my least favorite thing to paint was landscapes. And so because of that, I took that then as a challenge to practice landscapes. And now I love painting them. I think probably my next thing that I want to get more comfortable at, one is portraiture and skin tones, um, which I've kind of talked about before. And two is like cityscapes, actually, like urban sketching. Like going out there and... Yeah. I'm not as confident in painting You know what um, would be a good cityscape to paint is Hamilton. Yeah. It's got a lot of buildings. Actually, what's what's cool about Hamilton is we have these huge murals on sides of the buildings. So it would actually be kind of tricky because I would have to like do a mural mural in there. Good learning lesson though. Okay. Sorry, I'm just seeing if there's any questions. Are you on Facebook? (laughs) Leslie asks, is there anything you don't love to paint? (laughs) Well, I guess then that would be more like buildings and people I'm still trying to get comfortable with. I can do, I can, I guess what I mean by that is like, I feel confident painting people. I don't feel confident teaching it yet. And that will just take practice for me to like paint more people. So then I feel really good about teaching it to you guys. That makes sense. I agree with the, your opinion of, I th- you think that people are allowed to change what their favorite thing is. Oh yeah. I mean, I feel like we're always constantly kind of um, changing. And I think that a lot of a question I get a lot is just like style of like how you create your own style and that kind of stuff, which isn't a process of itself, but also style is something that is constantly changing as well. Um, it's evolving always because you're continuing to paint and as you paint more and more, then you have more 
you have different preferences or you're learning different things or trying new techniques. And I think there's value in that. Okay. Okay, so I have my second layer done of leaves. And now I'm gonna go into my third layer. Now on my third layer, I want it to be a little bit darker. I'm gonna mix a little bit more blue into my already green mixture on my palette here. And this one, I'm gonna do a couple of these kind of outlined leaves where I don't fill it in. So I'm just going to kind of draw them. Julie asks, hypothetically, how would I put a background into, in this painting if I wanted to do a background? There's two ways that you could do a background, Julia. One is you could just do a really, really light wash first and then layer on top of there. But you would just have to make sure that each layer is a darker value so it shows up on top of that wash. If you want to do a darker wash background, then you would probably need to paint around where you want to put the leaves or mask it off using a masking fluid pen or masking fluid um, because watercolor is transparent. So if you put a really dark layer down first, you can't layer it with a lighter value paint like you could acrylic or oil because it's transparent, it's not opaque. You can with gouache. If you have gouache, then you can do it that way. So. If you were, wanted to do a light value background, you could totally do that first and then just make sure your leaves are darker value on top of that. Or you can mask it off or like paint around it. Painting around things though is kind of difficult. We've done it a couple of times. It just takes a little bit of patience. Mm. Patience, yeah. that is the key. It is. It's a good practice in patience. It's funny because that's kind of one of the reasons why I loved watercolors because I was painting in oil so much at school, in art school. And it just took so dang long for the layers to dry and the cleanup and all of the solvents that you had to use. And I just loved that watercolor. You just needed water and I needed like an hour and my painting can be done. I loved it. That is nice. So I, I'm Hooked. working on the patience thing, but it's a good practice. And perseverance, that's right. Mickey says per perseverance as well, totally. Perseverance and patience. Okay, now I'm gonna go through and do like some smaller stems and smaller leaves using this same dark value. So just like a little guy in here. This is such a cute card. Isn't it cute? Yeah. I like that we were able to combine a couple of tutorials with it also. Yeah, that is nice. And it's just, I just wanna show you that like the concepts that we learn in a lot of the projects, I wanna give you guys the tools to get the information that you need that you can create your own variations of projects and not having to follow along exactly. Giving you the tools so you feel confident to go out on your own, that's my goal. And so I love it when we can take concepts that we learned, like how to make leaves and layering values to create kind of foliage and depth and applying it in a totally new way. Because I feel like that just opens up the door for you guys to see that you can take some ideas, apply them to something else, and you just feel more confident creating. Um, Lauren says, Addison age eight asks, do your kids like art? If so, which medium? Also, Keenan is my favorite. He cracks me up in my kids' group. <laughs> <laughs> so my kids do love art. Um, my daughter, my oldest daughter, Ella, is nine, if you can believe it. And she actually really loves lettering. And so we're lucky to have Nicole. Nicole comes to our house and teaches Ella how to do cursive with her name That's and awesome. that kind of stuff. She also loves... Um, drawing, I would say is actually her preferred um, medium. It's just pencil. She, I remember when she was five years old, she wanted to draw her stuffed animal and she set it up on the table and just was looking at it and drawing on it. 
which is so difficult to do. It was like a proud mom moment <laughs> where I was just like, oh my oh gosh, my Ella, goodness. you're drawing from life. I'm like, that's so hard to do. It was so cute. That's awesome. So yeah, they, they enjoy it. My daughter, Luna, I would say her preferred medium of choice is stickers. Just to stick <laughs> She it. just likes collage stickers, I would say. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like at this point, um, my composition is feeling even. I will say I feel like on this right hand side a little bit, it might, it feels a little bit more bare to me over here than it does over here. Do you see that too, Keenan, or am I crazy? I see the right side. Yeah, this yes, feels bare to me. That open spot, yes. So when you notice things like that, you can put in, I'm gonna do another long, skinny um, little branch here with tiny little leaves. Sue wants to know if we paint daily and how often if we do, or when we do, how long does, do we paint for? Oh, okay. Um, I don't paint daily. Um, when I do paint, it's, it's usually like hours, hours at a time and I can just like knock stuff out um, I will say that as a company, we try and encourage people to create within our company. So on Mondays, we have art day where for an hour, everybody just like does art of their choice, um, which is great. So I would, for me, I, it kind of differs. I don't have a straight answer for that. Um, but I am trying to work more on making time for painting and just like fun free painting. Um, it's hard to do that though. It is. You know? So I'm working on it too. What about you, Keenan? I don't paint every day. Mm -hmm. I owe a couple projects to the art journal group right now <laughs> that I'm definitely behind is on. Is this a fess up where you're just yes, like, I, like, I, said I, I like to this? just come out in the clear. <laughs> I feel much better already. Uh, oh, Mal asks if when you paint to music, what's your favorite kind of thing to listen to? Keenan, do you have an answer for that? Yes, but I can't say it. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show the berries and then I'll answer that question now. Okay, so we did our leaves. I'm feeling good about my composition. And now I'm gonna put in these little like, I did little dots, almost like flower berries or just little blossoms. And I mostly put them in places that it just felt bare. It's a great way to activate a space in a composition that feels bare. Um, without having to like keep layering and layering. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of dots over here. I mixed together um, fuchsia and my yellow for this kind of like peachy color. So the music I like to listen to in the same way that my, uh, what I like to paint changes, so does what I like to listen to. Like when I made the holiday gouache box, I really wanted to get into the holiday spirit. And so I can't remember what month I made that. It was not Christmas time, but I was like blasting Christmas jams <laughs> and singing along to, to that. I also really enjoy podcasts. Yeah. I like audiobooks. Um, it kind of just depends on my mood. Yeah. But if you guys have a favorite, let me know. Okay, so I got my fun berries, and now I'm gonna do cute little hearts. Cause I thought, it, since it says you're loved, I thought it'd be cute to do little hearts throughout. Almost like little heart flowers. Heart flowers? <laughs> so this one, I'm just gonna do straight fuchsia for that. And again, just kind of putting it in the areas where it can use a little bit of color, maybe as a white space kind of spreading them out. Gosh, that pink looks really great against that it, turquoisey blue. That is such a good color. <laughs> it's looking great. The pink is a good color on its own, but this combo, mm, choice, as the youths say. Thanks, Keenan. Welcome. I think they still say that. They do, absolutely. They do, okay, good. Oh, Tara says that her kids love the Hamilton soundtrack, so they listen to that a lot while they're painting. Oh. I do. Two, what's your favorite song from that song, from that soundtrack? Because mine is, um, oh, what is it? It's a, ah. It's right there. It's the one that uh, Leslie sing it. sings. Just sing it. Um, <laughs> wait for it. Wait, wait. 
Is that the name, or you That's want me name. to wait for? Okay, That's the name of the song. Wait for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the name of this song. Yeah, that's such a great soundtrack. Actually, what's funny is I was driving into work this morning and Heidi, our marketing director, we parked at the same time and I could hear through the through her car that she was listening to Hamilton. Nice. I was like, nice, Heidi. <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think my hearts are done. Beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Oh my gosh, Mar Marcy says her favorite song from Hamilton is the one the King sings. Um, King George, I'm pretty sure. Oh, what is that called? That's such a funny song. Let me look up the soundtrack names. Kenan. That, yes, let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna take, you can use any pen. I'm using just this Sharpie pen. I'm pretty sure we just um, stocked some pit pens that Jesse uses for art journaling, which are great. Um, you can use, I mean, you can even use a ballpoint pen if you guys need to, it's not a big deal. We also like Fudanusuke pens are great, Tombow pens are great, so, but I just grabbed whatever pen was around. And I'm just gonna go over my pencil sketch with my pen. There are 46 songs, <laughs> so. Okay, maybe we don't need to do that. You'll be back, that's what it's called. Oh, I saw that one. Thank you, thank you, Lindsay. That's what it's called. You'll be back. La, da, 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 That's what Wendy says to me da, every time da, da, da. I go. You'll be back. <laughs> That's what I say to Keenan whenever he threatens to quit because we don't pay him. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be back. <laughs> she says it with that voice too. I do, and then I sing the song. Da, 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 da. Confession: I still haven't seen Hamilton. I was not going to call you out. I knew that about you. Thank I didn't you. want to call you out in front of everybody. I appreciate that. But you should be embarrassed. <laughs> I am. Because one, you love musicals. I love them. I know you I do. I grew up with them. I love musicals. And you love to sing and you love music. I'm Ugh. just so surprised you haven't seen it. It's excellent. Listen, I'll try and be better. Please. Not my best, but I'll try and be Kenan, better. Can you just be better? <laughs> Please, come on. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Okay, and I'm not being too, as Jesse would say, I'm not being precious with this. I'm just kind of coloring this in, I'm going over my letters. If I don't follow it exactly, it's not a big deal. Um, and it's done. Oh. Ah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I hope you feel free to make it your own. Um, play with it, have fun with it. And if you guys have no idea with what Let's Make Art Matter is about, it's basically just this idea that I believe that there is power in coming together as a community. I believe there's power in art. And I believe that art connects us to each other so much more than we recognize. And I have learned throughout my life that when people are going through things, sometimes we're afraid to say something because we're afraid we'll say the wrong thing. And we don't want to offend anybody. And usually when we feel like we can't do something perfectly, it stops us from doing it. And the problem with that, when it is about reaching out to someone, especially someone we, we care about or want to feel loved, is we end up not saying anything at all. And I just wanted to come up with a way that we can show people that we are thinking about them, we care about them, and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's not necessarily about giving them the most perfect painting and the most perfect lettering and the most perfect postcard. I know that a beautiful painting won't solve people's problems, but I feel like it's the intention of taking time out to think of someone else and to make something for someone else and a way to say, I love you, I'm here for you, I'm thinking about you without having to have the perfect words. And I hope that you guys take the time to do this because there is power. We can make the world a kinder place by taking time to do something for someone else and showing that we support them. And we have seen that. We have seen through all of the work that you guys do as a community when making these postcards and sending them out that people feel the love and they feel connected and they feel I don't know, I feel like that's sometimes the point of being here is just connecting with other people and saying, you're not alone. 
You know, we all want joy and experience pain and want to be loved. And we can find that common ground and that just makes the world a little bit kinder. So if there are people that you think would benefit from this, you can nominate them. If you go to our website, you can go to letsmakeart.com, scroll down to the bottom. There's a nominate section there where you fill out some information. Um, this is part of all of our subscription boxes too. So we have Make Art Matter cards for art journaling. We have Make Art Matter cards for kids. Um, so take the time to do this. Grab a friend, grab family, make a card for someone else. And in the subscription box, it will be pre-stamped and pre-addressed. So all you have to do is drop it in the mail. Um, you guys are so phenomenal for painting with me and trying this with me and being brave and showing up for other people. And uh, Keenan, thanks for being here. Thanks for the invite. Yeah. I'm glad I came out of the, the uh, basement. <laughs> me too. <laughs> Maybe. No, no. Watch it. No, no. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, we will uh, see you guys later. Thanks for joining me. Bye.